guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi I'm Mary um, if you haven't already done so please hit the like and subscribe below um, but today's just gonna be a little bit of a favorites video some favorites action because I thought that I really haven't shown you guys that much since I even started this channel and I have so many products that I am a faithful user of that I just feel like you guys need to know about so this is kind of gonna be a little bit all over the place I've got some notes here but there's gonna be some fashion some food some homes some other you know we've got all of the categories here um so I thought I would just kind of you know hop right on into it on this good old Wednesday morning um you know let's just start here because I'm gonna be drinking my coffee throughout this video, but it's actually one of my specific favorites. So, as you guys know, I love coffee. I do, I have one coffee a day and it, it is my little ritual. I love starting the day off with a good caffeinated beverage after my hot water with lime, of course, and my liter of water, but I love drinking it out of a glass cup. Like, they're very specific, but I love drinking it out of the, the wide, like the wide mouthed ball jars, but the small ones, because the big ones, then you get too much coffee, you know? But the small ones are the perfect size. The wide mouth is nice because of my favorite, which is this lid that goes on it. It's a little bamboo lid, and they have bamboo straws too. Um, from Amazon I got it two in a pack for six bucks I'm gonna link them down below and just this whole little contraption I would say is my favorite um, the glass wide mouthed ball jar the bamboo lid and then either the bamboo straw or the glass straw there's something about a glass straw too that just makes you feel sophisticated if you know what I mean um, another one I really like I have a few straws I really like but right now I like the glass straw so we're gonna stick with that so yeah, this whole contraption, total fave. Okay, now that we're in kind of like the kitchen mode, <laughs> I'll just whip out this guy. <laughs> no, but my other current fave is Japanese white sweet potatoes. They are so fucking good, especially slow roasted. So preheat your oven to like 325 degrees, right, Fahrenheit and cut these babies in half, put them face down on parchment or your reusable parchment if you're being sustainable and following the Mary Montanero way. Um, but put them face down and then put them in the oven once the oven's preheated for like two and a half, two to two and a half hours. They'll slow roast and they'll get like caramelized. I've shown you guys them in past vlogs but they are so sweet, so creamy, and Japanese sweet potatoes are just so, so good. So how you can tell that they're Japanese is that they have like a really purple skin, and it'll probably say it at the store, but so good, 10 out of 10 recommend, make it happen. The next one, I just like have these random foods in my room right now, but whatever. The next one is chickpeas. I'm obsessed with chickpeas right now. I think they're such a great source of protein, especially on a plant-based diet. And I try to loosely follow food combining. Um, I'm not super intense, but it's just kind of something I've always tried to do. And I eat like a lot of carbs. As you guys know, I love a good old tater. <laughs> um, but chickpeas will actually pair with those. Um, and they just work well together. They're so good and they're perfect. They're perfectly fine on the digestion. So love chickpeas. Specifically, I love putting them in my air fryer. I'm obsessed with my air fryer too. That's kind of another fave, but it's so massive that I wasn't just gonna like whip it out in this video. But I'll link one down below. Um, Blake has one too. I think his is better than mine. So I'll link that one down below. But air fryers are so so fantastic they're great for if you're starting to eat healthy because all you have to do is just coat your veggies in a little bit of oil salt and pepper put them in your air fryer they'll get nice and crispy and i just i really think they are kind of an essential thing in most kitchens and they're quick so if you like cube up some sweet potato 
oil, salt, pepper in the air fryer at like 370 for like 15 minutes, the sweet potatoes will be done. So 10 out of 10 recommend my air fryer. 10 out of 10 recommend chickpeas in the air fryer. Put them in the air fryer. Literally don't put anything on them. Let them cook at like 370 for like 10 minutes. Take them out, put oil on them, put them back in for another five, and then season once they've already been cooked. That was a lot of info. If you have any questions, DM me on the Insta or comment down below. But so, yeah. Next kitchen fave, which this is kind of weird because we're going into fall. And this is like, it seems more like a summer item. But I'm really into coconut water lately. I think it's because I've been, lately I've been drawn to, um, less to like a hot yoga flow class and a lot more to like working out at the gym and going to bar classes and stuff and i think it's because it makes me feel more grounded um in this transitioning season you know and in just this time of transition but after those workouts obviously like i tend to be a little bit more tired than i am after yoga um and just like need some electrolytes and i've been loving this harmless harvest coconut water it's expensive um this brand is but this brand is so good like i kid you not this stuff is worth it but if you're looking for a cheaper alternative um any coconut water as long as just look at the ingredients um most coconut waters should be good um, but yeah, just loving that as a little boost after a workout, either that or like a green juice from this new green juice place that just opened up in Iowa city called get fresh. It's really good. Um, okay. That's all of the faves in terms of kitchen faves. So let's just move on to fashion. Why don't we, I don't really have that many fashion faves. Um, and they're both pretty broad but I thought I would just kind of tell you because they're pretty much all encompassing my style right now. So the first thing I'm loving right now is just earth tones. Um, and just really like, I've never been the type of person to wear a ton of color. Um, but like right now I'm just into like, as you can see, I'm wearing like a nude tank right now. And then like a lighter nude little sweater. I'm wearing some gray sweatpants slippers but earth tones in general I just I love pairing them together I think it's just a very simple very sophisticated style um I love the like I love a camel sweater I mentioned that in my last favorites video like a nice little green color you know like a muted like almost army green like I love that especially going into the fall um I think it's simple sophisticated yeah um, and then the next thing is also more broad, but it's just prints specifically. I love a good like leopard slash cheetah print and I love a good camo. So I just have two little examples and I showed you guys this when I was packing for my trip, but it's just this mini rose cashmere sweater. It's kind of like off the shoulder, gives you a nice little decollete action, but just like this little print I think is such a cute little cheetah print and then this is an example of like this little jacket it's not like now it's like falling off here this little jacket is just like a little camo I think it's so cute and just don't pair the prints with too much you know do you like an all black outfit with that little camo jacket it's so fucking cute like it's a vibe um and then th these two things aren't really like fashion but they kind of go in that realm they're more accessories but i thought i'd show you anyways the first one is little tortoise shell clips in the hair and i'm not talking like the two little barrettes i've never been into that but i'm just saying for like when i'm studying just throwing my hair back with a little tortoise clip. I think it is so cute. And just like, I just love it. I think it's so sophisticated and just adds a little like, bam, 
I don't know. I love tortoise. It's one of my faves. But so yeah, tortoise shell clips. And then off-white nails. As you can see, my nails are like an eggshell white right now. And I've never been one for like a complete white nail. I'm just not tan. And I clearly, um, I'm Casper the Friendly Ghost. And I feel like white nails make me look even more ghost-like. But I'm liking this eggshell white. I just decided to send it and go for it. And I asked my nail lady, V. I was like, V, like, should I get white or eggshell? She was like, eggshell all the way. So, you know, I figure I, I like eggs. So why wouldn't I like egg nails? I don't know. But yeah, like an off white, not too off white though. I'm not talking like yellowy. I'm just saying like eggshell. Okay, so next type of faves. Let's go for the home section. Um, so only two items here. The first one is this candle. It's by Roan, R-O-E-N, Los Angeles. And it is the... Le Boo. But specifically, I like this candle. Let me just show you this whole setup. I like this candle right here with my salt lamp on over here, my salt lamp over there on as well, blinds closed before bed. I love that vibe. It just, it, I, what I, what I really like about this candle is that it, it's not too strong, but it fills up my room with scent quickly. So it's not like I'm burning it for like five hours and not feel or, and not smelling anything. You know what I mean? So yeah, I really, really love the smell of it. I think it's warm and comforting, but also fresh. It's just a really, really great smelling candle. Almost like a little bit coconutty and yeah, it's awesome. Can I recommend that? The next one also has to do with smelling, but it's my essential oil diffuser and some specific essential oils that I'm into and pairings of essential oils. Um, I've always been into essential oils and I've always loved a good essential oil diffuser but never as much as I'm loving it right now. And I think it's because when I first moved into this apartment, it smelled fucking disgusting. Like, I don't even know how they could let someone move in the way it smelled. Like, it just, okay, it didn't smell that bad, but it was pretty musty and just frankly fucking bizarre. So I had to do what I had to do to eradicate that smell, of course, and that led me to really start taking essential oil diffusers seriously. So, I love my R Acacia one. I have one in here and then I have one in my living room and I have them going all the time, constantly. And what I like about the R Acacia is that it's very, it blends into its surroundings. You know, it's not too, it's not like I have like a hot pink essential oil diffuser even though my place is very like neutral. You know what I mean? So I'll link it down below. Um, it's also like kind of affordable compared to the other ones. I've seen ones that are like a hundred bucks. This one's like 50 and it's lasted me a long time. And it has two settings on it. It has like one hour and four hour and you don't have to have the light on. It's very nice. I really, really recommend it. You'll be seeing a lot more of it. Then, the essential oils I've been loving are, first of all, I love geranium. It's a, it's a scent I've always really loved. It's so calming and I don't know, it's just kind of always been a scent that I've been drawn to. So I love having geranium go in my room. Um, yeah, it's just, it even says below it, comforting. I just think geranium's a really comforting fragrance. 
So I love having geranium going in my room. And then in my living room, I love a mixture of lemon and vanilla. And I use all our acacia or Young Living essential oils as well. Um, and I'll link both of those sites down below so that you can just kind of play around. So the lemon is just like very fresh, classic lemon. And the vanilla is just kind of classic vanilla. But paired together, it smells like, like a lemon vanilla loaf. Like almost like a lemon bread, but not overwhelming where it's like Bath and Body Works. More just like, oh, Mary's been baking, you know? So I really like that pairing in my living room. So that is it for the home stuff. And then we just got some miscellaneous items. So the first one is, I guess this is kind of beauty, but the first one is this toothpaste. I'm always trying out new brands and like different types of natural toothpastes and right now i'm really really liking the jason power smile um whitening paste and it's vanilla peppermint i really like the flavor of this it i'm not big into just like natural toothpastes honestly i use them but i've never found one that i love because they never make my teeth feel clean but I feel like this one does, and I just really, really love the flavor of this. So honestly, don't really have much more to say other than this whole vanilla peppermint thing is my vibe. The next one you guys have seen me talk about before, but it's my Lolabo Suntol 33. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. It's a great perfume. I love it. It's just a beautiful fragrance. Okay. Next thing is this book. Dr. Joe Dispenza, if you haven't really heard of him, I would recommend listening to a podcast on him. Specifically, maybe like Ed Milet does a really good one with Dr. Joe Dispenza. Um, I think he does two with him actually. And I know the Goop podcast has one with him. That's probably the one I would start with. But breaking the habit of being yourself this guy is genius and I'm a very um, scientific person so I don't really take things to be true for the most part unless I have witnessed or have read about some scientific evidence to back them up or to back it up um, and I I don't know I'm very into academics and I'm just very into science I was almost a chem like chemical engineering girl I don't know long story but I'm very like I like if things can be backed up on a quantum level and on a molecular level and I think he does a really really great job of kind of backing up the idea of manifestation and changing your mind to change your life in this book um, I'm only about halfway done with it but it is already like one of my all-time faves i think it's really really amazing so breaking the habit of being yourself if you're looking for a good challenging challenging in the way where it like challenges your mind state or your mindset um book then i would 10 out of 10 recommend this and then let's just end this video off with my ride or die since high school my day designer planner i love this thing i I, yes, I use Google Calendar and stuff, but honestly, I'm more of a planner girl than I am. There's something about writing out what you have to do, writing out your day, writing out everything that I just feel is different than inputting it into your phone and inputting it into your device. You know what I mean? I feel more held accountable to it in a way if I write it down. And so I think I'll always be an old fashioned planner girl. I, I'm the same way with books where I don't read on any sort of device. I need an actual book. Same way with textbooks with school. Um, I just like having a physical copy of whatever. So what I love about my day designer is I think it's more about like what I don't love because I really love everything about this planner. I've been using this brand of planner literally since like my freshman year of high school, I think. Um, so I just think they do a really good job of laying out every single day. And so they have like today, 
can kind of see. They have like today and I think it starts at, yeah, 5 a.m. and it goes to 9 p.m. So you can literally write down everything that you want to, or that you have in that day. And then next to it, it has a to-do list. So you can write down everything you want to get done in that day and then check it off as you get it done. It has a top three, which I really like because it allows you to prioritize your tasks and prioritize your time. Um, so if I have a big assignment due, I'll always put that up there. Or if I want to upload a video, put that there. You get the gist. Then it has like due. So if you have anything that's due that day, dinner, don't forget, dollars. So just like little things that you can remember. I don't know. I don't use this section a ton. I'll use the do and then I'll use the don't forget, but not really dinner and dollars because I'm, I don't know. I plan that stuff ahead. And then daily gratitude. I love this section. Write down one thing you're grateful for every day. I'm so big on gratitude. I'm so big on a gratitude journal, a gratitude meditation, but this is a way to import it into your planning. Be grateful, you know? and be consciously grateful. And then the last part is just notes. So if I have anything to say, just any miscellaneous things to write down during the day, I'll just put them right in that note section. So again, day designer planner, I'll link this down below. I'm really loving this print that I got too, just because it's kind of a simple print, but it also, I don't know, I like floral. I think it can be kind of cute. So 10 out of 10 recommend this planner. Seriously, get it live by it go for it and yeah but that's all my favorites um for right now my little fall favorites but thank you guys so much for tuning in and yeah i'll see you guys next time for my next video um if you haven't already done so please subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys again very soon